of a former Fort Worth police officer accused of murder will soon be in the hands of the jury. Closing arguments get underway this morning. Our Caroline Vandegrift looks at the final evidence presented and one important decision facing the judge. Closing arguments will begin here a little later today, and then the jury will start deliberations. The last testimony they heard yesterday was from two different law enforcement experts with two very different opinions. His actions as a police officer were reasonable in what he was doing. So they should have called for cover, had additional people brought into the scene. That's not what occurred. Dueling experts on stand to evaluate Aaron Dean's actions the night he shot and killed a Tatiana Jefferson. Police officers are trained uh, that when a firearm is, is pointed at you, uh, shoot that individual, you are in extreme danger. Dean testified he did see a gun pointed at him through a window. Put your hands up, show me your hands. Go. Before firing a single fatal shot, a Tatiana Jefferson was home with her nephew playing video games when she heard a noise in the backyard. It was Dean and his partner responding to an open structure call at her house. The state's expert says they never should have been there based on standard police protocols. The back off call for cover and secure the location, like the policy says, or I knock and announce. Those are my two choices at that point. Walking around the house is not at the top of my consideration unless I have an emergency or an exigency. But he wouldn't give an opinion on Dean's decision to pull the trigger. Would you agree with Dr. Coons that once we're there and a weapon, if that's what Dean's testimony is and what Mr. Frederick showed with an object in this individual's hand in the window, once we get to that point in defense 40, slide 53 through 56, where there's an object coming forward, we're at a decision point of shoot, don't shoot, are we not? Well, I can't assess whether an object was or wasn't present. After five days of testimony and 13 witnesses, now it will be up to the jury to decide if they believe Dean had the right to shoot in the face of a deadly threat or if he committed murder. We don't know yet if the judge will allow them to consider a lesser charge like manslaughter. We're told the state and the defense will each get 45 minutes to make their closing arguments. Once the case is in the jury's hands, they'll be sequestered for however long it takes to get a verdict. In Fort Worth, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.